The Citrans LT500 has six configurable process value screens, which allows you to choose variables. But also what you can do is actually view your diagnostic information. So as you can see, we have a diagnostic generated here. And we can actually go on to the local user interface and go and take a look what that diagnostic message is. So if we look at the diagnostic, we'll actually see that the actual diagnostic is telling us that we are in an alarm limit or above alarm limit. So that's ideal for the local user interface, but we're not really going to have anybody stood in front of the unit to read the diagnostic. So what about the control system? What does that see? Well, if you remember from our previous tutorial, we actually had the Citrans LT500 connected to a Profibus DP uh, S7400. And we also had a Citrans LT500 connected on Profinet to an S7500. Now, if you take a look here and we actually go online to the S7400, we'll focus on the S7400 first. If we actually go online and we actually take a look what's going on here, well, we can actually see that everything looks good. Our icons are all green, our modules are all green, so everybody's happy. However, the Citrans LT500 is telling us that we, well, we do have some kind of alarm event or diagnostic. Well, why is that? Well, let's take a look. Let's dig in a little bit further here and have a look what's actually going on. So we have the alarm on the local user interface, but again, the control system looks happy. So let's dig in a little bit deeper and take a look what's actually going on here. If we open our watch table, we can actually uh, get live data here of what's actually going on. So uh, if we open up, go online, and we have a look at our level status. Now that's interesting. We see that our level status is actually at hex 80, which means everything is good, everybody's happy. Uh, if we had an alarm there, we would typically uh, expect to see some kind of change in the status by. Well, because the Citrans LT500 conforms to PA Profile 4, alarm events such as process alarms and diagnostics alarms are actually handled separately. So if we actually dig a bit deeper here and actually go online to the Citrans LT500, we'll actually see we do have an alarm event, but it's just a high alarm limit. So we can actually see that we do have an alarm event, but what about if we actually wanted to use that in our user program or do something with it? So if we reached a high alarm, we would you know, maybe want to turn something on or off. So let's have a look at our data block here, which we have uh, set up to capture the uh, diagnostic information from the uh, Citrans LT500. So if we actually go online to our data block and we actually have a look at that event that occurred there, we can actually see now that we do indeed have a, a, a diagnostic message, which has been captured by the uh, S7400. We can see that we have the uh, device that uh, sent the uh, or generated the event. And of course, we have all the diagnostic information here. We have the uh, status, uh, we have the Namor diagnostics, we have the sensor diagnostics, we have the transmitter. In fact, every diagnostic that will be generated by the Citrans LT500 will be in this message structure. And if we drill in, we'll actually see that we actually have a byte here which has gone and changed its status. And if we delve in a little bit further and look at our diagnostics, um, if we actually refer to the manual, we can actually split out the bits and, and look in greater detail. So what we've actually done here in our little program is just copy the uh, sensor and transmitter diagnostics just into another data block, just to make it easy for you to, uh, to see exactly what's going on. So if we go online to our data block, which just holds the sensor and the transmitter diagnostics, we'll actually see if we drill down here and drill into the bits, we'll actually see that here is our alarm limit bit. Now that we have our diagnostic bit in byte 31 bit 2, we can actually use it in our user program. So we could maybe now use it to turn on a siren or maybe some visual indication or some other action. So how do we capture those diagnostics in the S7400? Well, 
The S7400 has some special organisational blocks which are responsible for capturing such diagnostics. So in this example, OB82 is simply being used here and we're copying the uh, diagnostic address of the module which caused the diagnostic and we're also setting the DP diag bit. So we're going to monitor the DP diag bit in our main program and if we look here in our main program we're actually just going to monitor the DP diag bit and when the DP diag bit is set we will copy the data from the diagnostic buffer into data block 100. And if that diagnostic is from the Citrans LT500, by looking at the module address, we will then copy that sensor and transmitted information across to data block 8. And this is just purely for ease of reading in this example.